Uh, thank you, Dr. Sushmita, for including me into the program, and uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, which glaucoma are most blinding? I think that's what I'm going to talk to. Now, glaucoma is a potentially blinding condition, and if untreated, it would invariably lead to blindness, but with treatment, and uh, in spite of all the efforts, actually, if you look at the WHO figures, uh, of blindness, 8% of blindness is caused by glaucoma, so that's, that's quite a big number. Uh, and uh, uh, when we talk about the glaucoma-related blindness, uh, all glaucoma are not equally blind that we know, and some are more blinding uh, as compared to the other glaucoma diseases. So phenotype is important, as a type of glaucoma is important. But there are other factors, because type is not the only thing, and there are many other environmental, socioeconomic factors, and uh, 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 available to the medical Care is also important, so delayed diagnosis, poor compliance, systemic conditions, and other social and uh, economic circumstances, they can also contribute to glaucoma-related uh, blindness. Uh, there, the, if you look at the estimated figures, uh, we have about 65 million people blind now, and by 2040, this number is going to almost double. So it's very important to talk about the glaucoma-related blindness. I'm sure you'll come across these figures in uh, other uh, speakers' uh, talks also, so I'm skipping over that, but most important uh, is that the PSCG, the phenotype, that angle closure glaucoma is very common uh, in Asia, and uh, in 20, by 2040, uh, half of these glaucoma patients would be in the Asia. Overall blindness uh, due to glaucoma would be in the Asian countries, and 87% of that uh, angle closure disease would be in the Asian countries. So we are actually looking at a very high disease burden, especially of the angle closure glaucoma in the coming years. And in day-to-day -day practice, most of us can, uh, we, we can say that half of our glaucoma patients are angle closure glaucoma patients. So majority of these individuals we will have to deal with. Uh, glaucoma blindness in Asia is also again quite significant. And if you look at the angle, proportion of the angle closure versus open angle, angle closure certainly is a, a big factor in causing angle uh, blindness. So important thing to remember here is that PSCG is three times more blinding than open angle glaucoma and we have a lot of ESCG in our community. So this is, I think, one factor which we should always remember uh, when we are treating our glaucoma patients. So the lesson is angle closure glaucoma is very common. It is more blinding, and don't miss angle closure disease. I think if you can go home with this message and practice, uh, our purpose is basically served. Another blinding condition is the pediatric glaucoma. The congenital glaucoma is uh, not that common, but it's tend to be severe, and especially if it's not treated in time. And we also have juvenile glaucoma and other uh, glaucoma associated with other congenital uh, malformations. Uh, the problem here is that because these are kids, and there are, if you look at the number of blind years, then it's a substantial. So that builds up a lot of, uh, again, social and economic burden uh, to the gay caregivers. Then secondary glaucomas tend to be, again, more blinding. Pseudoexposition is not listed here, but pseudoexposition glaucoma is like two times more blinding than POAG. As we also know the neovascular glaucoma, uveitic glaucoma, post-penetrating keratoplasty, post-complicated uh, keratic surgery or uh, retal surgery, all these cases tend to be more refractory and difficult to treat. So blindness figures in PO, uh, NVG are quite high, and because this is partly because of glaucoma and also partly because the posterior segment disease itself that could uh, lead to contribute towards blinding. And most of the NVG patients, when they come to us, they usually have a very poor vision, and recovery is usually not uh, that great. Same is the story with the post-PK glaucoma. Again, they are difficult to manage. And here, again, there are two issues. One is the optic nerve, and that is the cornea. So high pressure is detrimental to both. And uh, so again, there's a uh, high risk of uh, these people going blind because of both of these uh, factors. The inflammatory glaucoma, again, is a very varied group. It could vary from mild cell-limiting lim transient IUP, rise like Poisson's Larsen syndrome, to very severe intractable glaucoma. So each individual would need uh, individualized diagnosis and care. And uh, often this is co compounded by uh, steroid response, so that also has to be kept in mind. So secondary glaucoma is actually marked by marked increase in uh, elevation in intraocular pressure, which can happen uh, high pressure in a very short span of time and that would uh, very quickly damage the optic nerve. So prompt diagnosis and treatment of glaucoma is, uh, and of the underlying condition is really 
important in these uh, situations. So to conclude, certain glaucoma phenotypes are more blinding than others. Uh, prompt recognition and therapy can save vision. Uh, PACG is common and should always be kept in mind. Thank you.